Baofeng. BF-F9-V2-N. V2, I assume, means version 2. Who knows? This is an F9, a BF-F9-V2-N Baofeng. Dual band HT, and we're going to look at it, put it on the power meter today. Ham hey, Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. You gotta love Fang videos. I don't know why. I don't know why. But you gotta love them because guess what? Every time I put one up, I get a lot of comments and a lot of views on it. So that's what you guys want to see. I picked up four different new Baofeng radios on Black Friday on Amazon. You can find a link to this radio in the description below. So I'm going, I've only done one so far. This is the second one. I'm going to do two more different models and everything. But we're going to take a look at this today, and we're going to see how it looks on the power meter. This is the manual. This is the junk antenna that it comes with. And it does come with a battery. If I can get it in the light here, 21 mil, 2100 milliamp hour battery. So let's pick, take this right here and go to the overhead. I'm going to zoom down a touch. All right, so that's what we're looking at right here. This actually has an FCC stamp on it. The last one I had did not have an FCC stamp on it, so I'm happy to see that, okay? It does not have a power rating. I believe that this radio is supposed to be an 8-watt radio, but it doesn't say that. So the BF F8 series radios are 8-watt radios. So I'm guessing that this is an 8-watt radio, but it, it doesn't really say that, so I'm not 100% sure. It does not say that anywhere on the box. All it says is, you know, it has the full kit. Basically, all the box has is a desk charger, antenna, belt clip, strap, you know, the standard fare. It does come with the PTT earpiece. This guy right here, I didn't really read through the manual. These manuals are usually kind of junk, but we'll see. So I don't really know what to expect because this one's not clearly advertised for power output. It's probably got something somewhere but i haven't been able to find it yet so i'm just going to put it together go through the menus put it on the meter and then we're going to be done i have said before that i think a fang is a decent entry into the ham radio world however unless you just want something to take out into the field and if you lose it drop it break it whatever you don't care i suggest getting something better like a redivis is going to be better. The TYT, some of the TYTs are better. Uh, Yezu makes a couple of HTs, the FT4XR and the FT65, that are much better radios. You know, quality of sound, spurious emissions wise, they're just going to give you. They're going to give you more channels. Those radios hold 200 channels, where this one only holds 128 in memory. So, if you spend a little bit of extra money, you're going to get a much better quality product. But I like to do these videos because I like to show you how well the Bale Fang usually doesn't stand up to the advertised power settings. So let's take a look at the menu right now. Now, this is going to be standard. All these, all these Bale Fang radios are the same. Bao Fang. Baofeng. Baofeng. All these Baofeng radios are the same. So there's that. I've got this sticker on the screen here. Take that off. 2.5 kilohertz steps, that's good. Power. It does have a tri-power, and a lot of times these 8-watt versions are the ones with tri-power. There's not much point in putting tri-power on a dual, on a 5-watt radio, because it's basically 1 and 5 watts are the two power settings. 2.5 or 3 watts on a 5-watt radio doesn't really make any much, much sense. But you never know. So we've got all the this stuff in here. You can go check out a video I did a while back about programming a Baofeng, a Baofeng radio in five minutes. So this is your standard fare. It's got the front firing speaker here. It's got this uh, call button here that turns on the FM stereo. You hold this down, it's going to squeal just like that. Short press of this button turns on the flashlight. Second press makes it flash. 
Long press turns on monitor, opens up the squelch. It's got the standard K connector there. One button on one knob on top for volume, and that's it. This is very basic Baofeng. Not much special about this at all. You can probably find a better model, but since it was on Black Friday sale, I grabbed it. We're going to do it. This is a model I haven't done before, so let's put it on the meter real quick. I got to get an adapter. American Radio Supply adapters. Okay, so we're going to put it on. Transmit power is high. That's right there. There we go. Glare in the screen. Transmit power is high. I'm going to put it right there. Plug it into this. Move that back over there. MFJ849 power meter, which I really like. It's got this digital readout, so it does very well. And that's, a, that's another bug I've seen in some other Baofeng radios. When you go into TXP, it says wide instead of high, but whatever. Okay. So we're in there now. TXP is high power. We are on 146.52, and it's 5 watts. Okay, okay. That's not, it's not advertised as 8 watts. So I was not really expecting 8 watts, although I think a tri-power on a 5-watt HT is kind of dumb. Maybe it's supposed to be 8 watts, but they didn't advertise it this way. So I don't know. Let's go over here. And 4 watts on 446.5. Four, four, oh, 3.5 watts on 441.0. So that is, it's not, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's a 5 watt HT. At the time of this recording, this radio sells for about $42. But you know what? I just looked it up. I didn't look up my order page before I started this video. I looked it up just now, and I actually ordered the 8-watt BFF8, and they sent me a BFF-F9 BF V2N. So I assume this is probably supposed to be the newer version of the BFF8, which is advertised as an 8-watt HT, and this one does not do 8 watts, as you just saw. So the BFF9, I've never heard of before. But, you know, every now and then I run ac across a, 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 a model number of a Baofeng radio that I don't recognize. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, the only Baofeng radio that I actually carry, and I don't really carry it, I keep it in my RV trailer so that I can use it at my hunting lease. And the only one that I do that with is the UV82. I have a UV82 and a UV82 HP from BTEC, and I have a 5x3 from BTEC, which is a tri-band radio. Those are basically the only Baofeng radios that I actually use. I've got a couple others floating around. I've given away several of them. This one right here, actually, this one right here, I might send back to Amazon because I ordered a BFF8 8-watt, and they sent me a BFF9 5-watt. Now, maybe it's supposed to do 8 watts, but who knows? I don't know. It's not the model number I ordered anyway. So, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, who has heard of the BFF9 V2N radio? Has anyone ever heard of this model? Have you? Do you have it? Have you tried it? It's a tri-power. It's got low, medium, and high power, which most of the time, if you have a tri-power radio, that means it's supposed to be an 8-watt radio. The biggest difference, the biggest way to tell, the, the easiest way to tell the difference between the UV82 5 watt HT and the UV82 HP 8 watt HT is that if you go into the TXP menu on the 5 watt model, there's only low and high. On the 8 watt model, there's low, medium, and high. That's the easiest way to tell because a lot of times they look the same. Sometimes they, sometimes the HP model doesn't even say HP on the radio itself. It'll say it on the box, but not the radio. Has anyone ever seen this before? What do you think about it? Are you getting 8 watts out of it? My last two or three Baofeng videos that I've done power tests on have failed. This is why I tell you, go get something better that's like a Redivus. If you want to stay in the Chinese realm, go to go get a Redivus, like the uh, RT85, holds 200 channels. Or go get a uh, go get a Yezu FT65 that holds 200 channels and has a much better transmit quality of RF output. So put a comment below. Let me know what you think about this radio. If you've ever heard of this model, if you have one, 
If you bought it and returned it like I'm about to do, I don't know. Let me know what you think below. 73, thanks for watching.